Hello everyone, welcome to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. If it is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you like what we do on this channel, hit on the subscribe button. Also put on the notification bell so you'll be notified by YouTube anytime we drop a new video. And if you are returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch our videos. On this platform, we drop videos every day and we react to every video that come our way. And on this very video, I will be watching with you. And after watching, let's go to the comment section and drop our opinion constructively. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. See you next time in my next video. It's a way to I want to give the microphone to our elder one. Let me give it to Let me give the microphone to the elder state man. Paris the baby father I know eh? and friends, we are gathered here today to reject in this center the dubious programs of the Buhari administration as our chair has just explained to us the living standards of our people are getting worse by the day. Yes, we did not vote for a regime to cause hardship for Nigerians. And that is what is going on. As we are gathered here today, terrorism has taken over our country. Yes, hardship has taken over our country. Yes, Depression has taken over our country. Yes. Recession has taken over our country. Yes. But, but, ah, President Buhari is junketing all over the world. Mm. He has already told Nigerians that he's tired. Yes, and he's so anxious to go home. Go. We are therefore saying today that Buhari must go. Let him go. What, what are we go. saying? What, what are we saying? in our tertiary institutions and other workers okay, we are fully with you the people's alternative political movement the alliance on surviving the um, COVID-19 and beyond we are fully with you LASCO is fully with you we want to commend the, all the athletes of the Nigerian Labour Congress Thank you. for this wonderful outing and as our comrade has said, this is a warning protest. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. This is a warning protest. Oh, yes, sir. By the time Nigerians are going to come up fully, yes. as our comrade has said, oh, NSAS protest will be a mere choice play. Yes. Because we are tired, yes. we are frustrated, yes. we are disenchanted, yes. we are imbalanced as a people. Yes. And I join our comrades in saying, that enough is enough. enough. Please don't let them deceive you yes. by saying there is no money in our country. It is a lie. Please, please know this. This year's budget, the regime claimed that it was going to spend 443 billion naira on the so-called oil subsidy. Later, the regime went to the National Assembly and claimed that it is going to be 4 trillion naira. The latest now is that the regime is saying it is going to be 
6.5 trillion naira. Yet, there is no money for education. But there is money to pay smugglers who they claim are smuggling fuel out of Nigeria. What we consume daily, all of us must know this. According to DPR, is 32.8 million liters. The NMPC claimed that it's 100 million liters. We then asked them, how did you get 100 million liters? They say about 60 million liters are smuggled out of Nigerian daily. Oh. This is impossible. Oh. Because you will need about 2,000 tankers to take out 60 million liters at 33,000 uh, 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 liters per tanker, which is not possible. We are therefore saying, we reject the dubious economic programs of this regime. We reject the neoliberal policies of this regime that have continued to promote poverty in the midst of plenty. I therefore urge our comrades, while thanking the Nigerian Labour Congress, we are in solidarity with you. Nigerian people are in solidarity with you. Great Nigerian people. Isoleto. Uh, before now, this matter was handled in-house, as it were, by the staff in the universities. But what happened today is that the Nigerian Labour Congress called out all the trade unions in Nigeria and all the workers to solidarize with the ASU and the other staff in the universities with a view to pressurizing the federal government to address the issues, particularly the refusal to comply with agreements that were freely entered into between the government and the staff in the universities. We do hope that with the outing today, prior is going to be further mounted you know, to ensure that uh, our children, the students, are allowed to resume their studies. Within the ambit of the law, if this doesn't happen, if the federal government doesn't respond in the manner that um, the You're agitators... Right. Yeah, so um, what, would it, what can happen within the ambits of the law? Well, as you have been told now, this is just a warning strike, a warning protest. If the government does not behave responsibly, you can be sure uh, you are going to have a total showdown in the country. A total showdown. Frankly speaking, I think the crisis has been compounded by the Minister of Labor and Productivity, Dr. Chris Ingebe. But now that the President has directed the Minister of Education, Mr. Adamu Adamu, to look at these problems and make appropriate recommendations to the government, I'm very confident that the government will have no choice but to look for meaningful solutions to this problem once and for all. Some pictures that has been painted in the past uh, between 2009 and today is that it seemed like at some point the academic staff have become unreasonable in some of their demands. Become unreasonable, unreasonable. in some oh, of their, oh, in their demands. demands. Is there a possibility of um, shifting ground or holding on to that agreement? Is it still tenable? Because well, they have some five point demands. Well, whoever, Whoever says that is irresponsible and unreasonable, uh, the, 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 the protest, the strike, is essentially meant to revamp our universities that are almost comatose now. In fact, in Nigeria today, we only train people to service other nations. Currently, we have 10,000 registered Nigerian doctors in the United Kingdom and about 15,000 nurses between 2017 and now, in the United Kingdom alone. Don't want to talk about the United States of America or Saudi Arabia or the Middle East uh, as a whole. So we have, and, and other professionals are living the country in what is called brain drain. And no nation on earth, no nation in the world, who spend huge sums of money to train its own nationals and allow them to turn the other eye when they are living the country. Uh, Dr. Ngige says that uh, we have overproduced doctors. Meanwhile, 
you know, if someone say doctor to 10,000 people in Nigeria today, contrary to the ratio of uh, 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 WHO, it should be about one to 600 people. So we are in trouble. And we do not have a government that is sensitive and prepared to address the problems confronting our country. Our president is tired. And he has said this repeatedly, that I'm tired. I'm anxious to rush back home. And what he does now is to embark on John Ketting around the world. Currently, the president, I'm told, has gone to Liberia today to deliver his speech. On security. Whereas security has collapsed, virtually collapsed in Nigeria. So we, we must get the president pressurized to address the problems of the country before he rushes back home. And if he's tired, as he is saying, we will urge him to go back home and rest and take care of his health so that this country can be allowed, you know, to return to sanity. Right now, right now, there's no governance in Nigeria. And that is why you can have a strike in the university system for five months. It's unacceptable. It's intolerable. You know, and so we, all, we also urge you guys in the media to help the country to look at the problems. It's not about, oh, as it's unreasonable, the government signs agreements without any torture. The government does not sign agreement under duress. But once you have signed an agreement, the civilized thing to do is to implement the terms and conditions in the agreement. And this is the, this is the bottom line. We must address the responsibility of the government that has caused this crisis and so much inconvenience for our, for our, for our students. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.